You're recording that, aren't you? No, I didn't. <laughs> you lied. I did it. You lied. People don't want to know how gross you are in the gym. How does it feel to fail? <laughs> so I didn't hit my volume right, so we're going back down. Are you ready for the chase now? Take it out, don't let it slow down. like November 3rd maybe I don't really know I am checking in with you guys don't know when this is gonna go up but I wanted to vlog a little bit of what it is I'm gonna be up to today right, so it's about almost three o'clock and I'm gonna go pick up M because we are working with blowfish tonight at the Yelp uh, philanthropic art in action fashion show and Blowfish is one of the featured designers and so we're going to be modeling some of the fall and winter collection that he is going to be releasing for the holiday season because they do actually have a storefront in our Oxmoor Mall here as well as their storefront down in Nulu, in downtown Louisville. It is a general neutral clothing company so everything is sized for both genders based on one fish, two fish, three fish, all the way up to five fish. So traditionally I've been a one and a two fish and what they're going to be showcasing tonight is some of their uh, sleeveless hoodies, some of their hoodies, and we get to see some of their joggers slash sweatpants. So I'm pretty pumped about that. They are going to be doing our hair and makeup. So I just got my hair cut and colored. It totally needed it. Oh my God, I had so much gray. When your husband knows your gray hair, you know it's bad. So I just have like foundation on and concealer. And of course I did my brows because nobody gonna touch my brows other than me. So I'm gonna go pick up M, load up the car. We are responsible for bringing a couple items of our own to wear like jeans and stuff. So I've got to load up the suitcase and I will see you guys in the next clips. Hope you guys enjoy this vlog with Blowfish Clothing Company. I feel like this is much needed today. They didn't have my orange flavor. So I'm just gonna give this one a whirl. I don't like the red one, like at all. I hate the red. Um, the white's okay. I know everybody loves the white one. It's not my fave. The yellow tastes like um, the worst of them all. I have also these because your home girl's got some serious allergies and like sore throat oh that actually feels like really good on my sore, on my sore throat it's good um it's red i don't really like red things at all so there's that but um it's pretty good anything would taste good at this point on my throat so less ago thing i don't know whatever it is we're doing today Oh, this is going to be a terrible vlog because I can't make words today. That's how tired I am. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try for the tube. It's all about the effort, right? Right? All right, we out. Yes. Bye-bye. I was like, hey, look at me. <laughs> Wait, did you not? I just did this instead. Oh, oh, no, no, no. You got to put nope. it in front of your face. You're supposed to put it in front of your face. <laughs> Something. Something pretty. Oh, coming in strong. There we go. We are all here at the Art in Action. Way to manage my light there, buddy. 
And I got Alex coming in strong with a nice overhead lighting because it's dark There's as one, uh, crap in here. But here's Logan, the creator of the Blowfish clothing. So he's helping all of this go down. And we've got model Ian right there. Oh God, that's so bright. Oh my face. Here, you can have your phone back. <laughs> and then we got Alex manning the light for us right here. And we're about to do hair and makeup, I think. And is that how it's gonna go down? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just that real person. I wasn't doing anything other than just talking to her camera. I'm Taria. And where do you work at here in Louisville? Focus Salon in the Focus Highlands. Focus Salon. Ooh, I love the Highlands. It's wonderful. I'm an esthetician there. Ooh, yeah. Cool. So we're about to get this done. I just got my hair done. It like, looks really pretty. Thank you. <laughs> so you can do whatever. Yeah, I'm not. We're gonna. I'm gonna. We're gonna make you beautiful. Cool. I'm not tender-headed at all. Yeah, like, I know. You I've can got just the head of a horse. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do your face. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna do your hair. Oh, okay. So, then okay. my face isn't tender either. Well, <laughs> okay. So I got the Marie Antoinette look going on. Alex is about to get it too. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna really just have red stuff on my teeth all night. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping for less lips. Yeah, we're not going. There we go. <laughs> Darn, I want to I wanted to see some juicy lips on Alex. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I've never had like white makeup done before. <laughs> enjoyed the clips from the fashion show so before we watch this clip I want to let you guys know that 80% of my audience on my YouTube channel is female so this content particularly for today is very female driven please understand that I'm going to discuss topics that are related to the female reproductive cycle so I just wanted to address that and give you the fair warning that you can go past this point of the video and just enjoy that shoulder workout or you can come along for this portion. I just wanted to let you guys know that there's some great news so be sure to check out this next clip coming and then we'll circle back in. I just left the doctor and um, I will link the video in the description box below but this is a big turnaround for me. Um, as of that video, you guys, if you watch that, you guys understand that I was at loss of a cycle for a good bit of time since last February. So I was diagnosed with amenorrhea because of that. And um, in my last ultrasound that they did of my uterus, they did find a polyp. And we were going to have to go through a hormonal process, uh, basically taking oral hormones to expel that polyp or we were going to go through an extraction purpose which would just be a outpatient surgery so because um, I did have a cycle two weeks ago I no longer have that polyp present and everything is 
hopefully back to normal. So we're just gonna wait and see if my cycle does um, continue to be present through this process um, of my off season. So the goal is just to kind of, like my coach says, reset my cylinders. So we are gonna keep progressing forward in my off season and hopefully, you know, this won't be an issue any longer and I will be more regular. Um, but just to let you guys know, like not all competitors lose their cycle, but I am in fact one of them. And I don't even have to drop super low in body fat to lose it. I find that it normally has to do with a carbohydrate drop and a cardio increase. And that is what tends to be where my cycle is just like, peace out, we gone for a hot minute. And that's just me, that's my body. Um, my coach understands that about me. So that's why he does um, put that in the forefront of my need for an off season was the fact that that had been gone for so long. And you know, he's very objective about that in that way. Whereas I'm like an athlete mentality and I'm like, go, 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 let's keep working with it because mm, I don't need that. <laughs> but you really do need that. And that's why I do need, you know, a coach to kind of rein me back in sometimes and tell me about what you know is important for me to be a strong athlete in the future and protect my health in the future so thanks um to matt for being that kind of coach for me um and i hope you guys um have those people in your life who can kind of rein you in a little bit when you're just kind of go 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 or you seem to have just so much fire under you that you can't kind of sometimes see those other aspects of things but um yeah so everything's great so the workout you guys are about to watch um, is a shoulder workout and during that shoulder workout I kept telling my husband while he was filming I was like this is terrible my strength is terrible my effort is terrible like, I could just feel like I cannot lift anything it was like this overwhelming burning sensation I just did not feel like myself like while I was lifting I just couldn't get into it so I wanted to talk a little bit about how like your menstruation cycle can affect your training. And so I wanted to talk a little bit of mainly about the, there's two parts to your cycle, follicular cycle, and there is the luteal cycle. So the luteal cycle is the one in which typically affects your training the most. Um, in particular, the five days prior to the actual cycle beginning, meaning actual menstruation occurs. So those five to six days are typically when the window of quote PMS occurs for women. And so during this time, water levels increase as well as just kind of the overall like influx of hormones and the overall sense of kind of being outside yourself. Um, again, this is something I went, you know, about 30 something weeks without having. So all of it's kind of crashing back in um, and I kind of notice it even more so in my training. Um, again, Matt is a great coach and he does point out to me kind of these things about me and it, the best way to track, the best way to keep track of everything is to track it and track how your workouts are feeling, your biofeedback and understand that your body does have these 28 day cycles. So understand that once progesterone comes through, which is in the follic, or excuse me, in the luteal cycle and its highest is typically during that PMS window, your strength output is most likely going to decrease. Um, you're going to really just not feel like yourself in the training in the gym and understand that this for me is now going to become a deload week for me. Um, going forward because I am able to track it and because I am becoming more consistent, which yay, that is um, super plus that I can start tracking this and start pre-planning kind of a deload week to happen during this time frame. So I just want to talk a little bit with you guys about this. Again, 80% of my audience is women. So I thought that this would be helpful for you guys to kind of not only track your cycle and track and track your biofeedback for that, but also think in terms of when you want to take a deload week or when you feel like you need to take a deload week or you know talk to your current coach or whoever is doing your training and say hey you know i think that this particular week is going to be that week where it's going to fall great for me to deload uh, again this is just my feedback and the, you know what i've talked with with my coach maybe your body is different maybe your experience with it is a little bit different but typically once my cycle actually officially starts and i begin menstruating I can hit PRs like nobody's business. Like once that actually occurs, I feel back to myself again. 
yeah, of course, you know, the other symptoms of bloating and cramps and, you know, your low back hurting are there, but overall my strength is back. I don't kind of feel outside myself anymore. So uh, again, I just kind of wanted to share that with you and let you guys know that this shoulder workout you're about to watch is not the best. Um, I picked some clips to slow down so you could kind of see the intensity in my face and just the fact that I just wasn't feeling it. But not every workout's gonna be pretty and I'm not here to just vlog every workout that looks awesome and that I'm a badass at and it's just shoulders. So um, I'm kind of thankful that I only had to tackle shoulders the day that I felt the worst. And again, it was about three days after this shoulder workout that, that my menstruation actually occurred. So I do believe progesterone levels were a little bit higher and I just kind of felt groggy and felt weak. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the shoulder workout and the edits that I included and the music. And thank you guys so much for the support in this community um, that I've created and for the eagerness to learn what I actually want to share with you guys and just participating in this with me. Please subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm putting out there and be sure to give me a thumbs up and enjoy the shoulder workout and bye-bye. What's wrong and right? Being on my side, live an easy ride. You feel so wondrous, mate. Maybe you will my pride. Thank you.